Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of February, 2023! Eight o'clock in the morning, and the air quality is not the best anymore. It's pretty cold. Hima DJ Mark. So we got Hima. So this is a beautiful vegetable garden where they have cauliflower and cabbage. Oi, I live. He should I? Not bad. Ah. And here we have our small vegetable garden. Like is growing some salads, some pakadam, kind of wasabi, and some very delicious tomatoes. Today we're gonna look for some wood and the new floor for our bamboo tree house. So mask do I? Metal sheet. Some metal sheet for the bamboo house. Up home. So those will be the new metal sheets we're using for the for the tree house. So this is the bamboo tree house and we decided to change the roof like we did with the other roofs. This is the old roof. All this just drizzles down into the the bamboo hut. It's uh, about uh, three in the afternoon, and the, I, I've lost my mask because, or my my protection from outer smoke, because between 11 a.m. and about 6 p.m. the air is about on the 2.5 p.m. scale between 40 and 60 which is okay not super good but not super bad so there, something happens with the atmosphere and stuff so the air gets clean and and during the night it's it gets like almost 100 and the peaks sometimes above 100 but it's much better than like three years ago where we had like 200 300 which was like completely crazy usually you can see the mountains in the background very clearly but now because of the air quality you can only see like a silhouette of the mountains but last year we had a much more wet dry season it made the air quality much better last year and this dry season is getting really dry and this benefits the, the mangoes as you can see the, this is the second these are the first flowers and not every flower gets mangoes there are still some mangoes on the trees around from the first round and then the second round gives us flowers that um, look very healthy too and the dry season helps these flowers develop and also the mangoes develop and we have like around four natural beehives around the garden right now so if you can, if you come here and within one hour find all four, uh, this is a competition, you will win 1000 baht. Okay, Mark. For my little girl, I got it. <laughs> and and you, you, uh, you, your name cannot be Fabian. Clap. When the young flowers are developing on the mangoes like this and we suddenly have a few days with rain, very moist, there is a risk that, and maybe it's because of the cold too, I, I'm not sure what happens, but there is a risk that uh, they get moldy and get eaten by bugs. So, usually we would just take a saw, but right now we don't have a saw and we don't want to have the worm eating this mango while we're not here so you can do something like this and then we will cut the rest later mm. 
probably inside here somewhere. Avocados are growing around here like small trees and to increase their chance of survival we give them, we give them water in this period of time. So this is the setup where you have the hose and you have the black pipe and then you have a uh, like a rubber rubber water hose and you just put it around here and wait for two three four five minutes you can go around and do other stuff in the garden okay I, I know that this is what kind of tree this is but if you don't know you can take uh, an old or a young new leaf doesn't really matter uh, in some plants and then you can like smother it and then you can smell it and this smells like mango so I mean it confirms that it's a it's a mango uh, some people like in, in Thailand you can also use these young um, leaves from mango to make a curry and stuff Longan flowers are coming now so soon there will be full bloom of Longan and we're getting a lot of red Cavendish so I've been talking about these uh, papaya trees that grow just next to the red Cavendish and it's just interesting to see that they are growing so close. I don't know who planted them or some animal pooed around here with the seeds. And, and this tree already has flowers so it's pretty cool. Lek uh, is uh, drying all kinds of different bananas. Some of the bananas are not ripe, the green bananas, which you will uh, cut into small pieces and uh, dry in these solar domes. And then they will be blended up and there will be like a powder, the banana powder, which can be used uh, for, uh, for a tea, like put in hot water and then Thai people and maybe other people than Thai people like to drink it. For us it's a little bit strange because we enjoy eating uh, the, the fresh and ripe bananas. People here in Thailand have been eating a lot of these bananas and they don't, don't like to eat them fresh and raw like that. Also Leg is making um, dried bananas which is also quite popular. She's, uh, she has quite some orders now so it's going really well. So if you want to check it out, you can search on uh, or look in the description below and see the links for Inli Cassette Farm on Facebook and, and stuff.